There are two subtypes of trypanosoma brucei that the medical student needs to be aware of. The first one is T. brucei rudesiens, and the second one is T. brucei gambiens. So these are two subspecies of trypanosoma brucei. The type of disease that this causes is African sleeping sickness, also known as African trypanosomiasis. Clinical features to look for in the vignette and the question stem are enlarged lymph nodes, recurring fever, also can be referred to as a relapsing fever, meaning that happens often and frequently. So it's important and high yield to know that the recurring fever is due to antigenic variation. It is a testable point. Some other clinical features of African sleeping sickness are somnolence, and also coma. Somnolence refers to a state of a strong desire for sleep or sleeping for a long period of time. Coma, a state of deep unconsciousness that lasts for prolonged periods also. So next, let's look at how this disease is transmitted. It is transmitted by the Setsi fly. This is certainly high yield to know this. More specifically, it's transmitted by the bite of the Setsi fly. It's a painful bite. So the fly, when it bites, it is painful. So definitely be on the lookout for this. Look out for that Setsi fly in the clinical vignette. It's going to be diagnosed by doing a blood smear, and we're going to be looking for trypomastigotes in the blood smear. Some sources have also noted that you can look for trypomastigotes in the cerebrospinal fluid. That's the CSF. Okay, so how do we treat this disease? There's two things we need to be aware of. The first one is that we can use suramin, that's suramin, for the blood-borne disease, or Milar sopral, if it penetrates the CNS, that's the central nervous system. So this was a brief discussion on some high yield points of trypanosoma brucei. We need to be aware of the two subspecies. Also, we covered the disease that it causes, how it's transmitted, the diagnosis, and the treatment. It's a short topic, but if you know it, it can translate to easy points on the exam if it pops up.